What's happening, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, R Streets, and I'm here with the Elements Digital Newsletter for the summer of 2013. First, June 30th, Elements presented Hip Art at Washington Park. This is the first time Elements has ever took the stage all to ourselves for a night of classical and respectful hip hop. For more on this milestone for Elements, check this story out. So like the rings was cleared up and everything down here with all the stars members, elements members. We just out here chilling right now, setting up the equipment. We're about to start the show and get a rock. Elements is a center that has music, dance department, and all kinds of things dealing with hip hop. So one of the things we've been trying to do is show a situation in which we could do something together. Putting the show together for um, Art in the Park was interesting. This gave us a chance to hit the stage together in some songs and kind of work in and out and integrate. At the beginning of the day, the band thought that um, we was going to not play because it was raining so much and we were getting discouraged and everything. Then the sun came out we was like, oh, okay. And we set up and everything and we opened up. We opened up with, with a good with a good bang, you know. Like we were used to doing like CDs, tracks and stuff. We weren't used to dancing with a live band. So it was, it was just a neat experience. Honestly, my performance was my favorite because I felt like the, I had the crowd just going crazy with my dances and everything. Hip-hop culture and its true intent, the actual youth and young adults coming together to present creative art um, is alive in Cincinnati. One of the things, uh, probably the most that the community could probably got out of it was the fact seeing young, I won't say young black people performing together, putting all this whole hip-hop thing together, all the elements of hip-hop, seeing the dance, the rap, the, the live musicians, because we hardly ever see young black musicians playing music anymore. We hardly ever see bands. So they saw that, they saw, they saw us all coming together. Next, this summer, the Cincinnati Music Production Company, the Beat Lounge, LTD, joined forces with Elements. Under the leadership of the founder of the Beat Lounge, Contracts, and studio manager, Nitty Morris, Elements now offers extended services to young beat makers, producers, and recording artists. For more on the Beat Lounge, check this story out. I'm Contracts, founder of the Beat Lounge, LTD. I'm Nitty Morris, as of recent, uh, we made a merger with the Beat Lounge and my man Contracts. What the community can look forward to with us merging is uh, quality production coming from Elements. Actual projects being put out, producers coming down, working with some of the members. You'll see uh, beat battles coming up. And basically the Beat Lounge FBD is a company that's here to support artists and music producers first and foremost. We started from scratch on Fruity Loops and Reason. The ones who already make beats, we go through to see how progressed they are as music producers or beat makers, and then we teach them more about the business and prepare them for actually being able to get placements and sell beats professionally. I have artists who, who came in and um, they just started out with the, the Rat Cat 1, 2, 3 type ABC rhymes, not really looking in depth uh, into themselves, their music that they're providing, or, or even the culture of hip hop. Now, you got those same artists who are actually doing these things, man, right? being able to talk and explain what they're writing about instead of giving off some third grade freestyle. My purpose is to help make this a better situation for members. If I had this growing up, it would have made tremendous changes in me. But then you got somebody like Nitty who actually went through the trenches of the program and became who he is now. And I could vouch for him to say that he's become a well-rounded and a adult right now, a great father figure, a good guy in the community. So, you know, um, this is what elements breed. This is, this is what comes about. Next, Elements and Temple Shalom recently embarked on a journey to film a documentary about one of our members. The name of the documentary is The Spirit of Tafari and is the story how Elements member Tafari McDay is on a journey to find himself as a young man and as a recording artist. 
I miss him being a kid. I really do. He's a kind young man. He's a respectful young man. He's a multifaceted individual. It's more than just friendship, you know. It, we, this is brotherhood. His personal life is his music. To me, growing up, there was bits and pieces of life that were joy and peaceful and good, but there were many parts of my life that were stress and painful, drama, a lot of stuff going on throughout my young life that I don't normally talk about to other people. Now we're in the middle of a campaign to raise funds to complete the project, but we still need your help. So from now until October the 10th, if you would like to donate to the project, please click on the following link. Now that's it for this newsletter, but be sure to check for updates on our Facebook page, Twitter, and at elements.org. And don't forget about the Beat Lounge's Beat Battle every first Friday of every month, and the stage on Central and Race Showcase every third Thursday. I'm your boy R Streets, and I'll see y'all next time. Get your soul and get your